Nat and Essie Crafts, and Sprinkles the Bear. Hey guys, welcome back to Nat and Essie Craft. Today we are doing something nobody has ever done on the internet before. We are tie dyeing a friendship bracelet, and it looks so cool. So stick around because I will be showing you how to make this awesome bracelet. So here's my collection and here are the two bracelets I will be making in this video. It looks really cool. You will start out by making a chevron bracelet in the color white. You will need a total of 12 strings. Check the link at the end or in the description box how to make a chevron bracelet. And here is what you need for this project. A bowl, soda ash, rubber bands, a measuring bowl, a scale, some measuring cups, some containers, plastic bags, and of course your die. I got my die at Dharma Trading Company and it is my favorite. So here is what we're doing first. We're taking our soda ash fix, 32 ounces of water and you put one fourth cup of soda ash inside. Let's get our water. It is lukewarm so that the soda ash can dissolve faster and just spread it in there. Now take your bracelets. I also made t-shirts on the same video, so ignore the t-shirts and put them into the ash soda. Here is the Dharma Trading Company website. Make sure to go to their dies that you purchase and make sure you do exact measurements. Everything on their website is detailed in eight ounces. How much dye to use? Every color is different. For eight ounces of lemon yellow, you need 6.2 grams. So you have to measure everything out very precise because these are the legit colors. You can't get dye anywhere else except for Dharma Trading Company if you want to do it right. So they have the entire list of measurements on their website. It's turquoise, 18.1 grams is equal to eight ounces. So I have a two ounce bottle, which is 4.5 grams. Fill it up with lukewarm water so that the dye can dissolve. And with every color you have, do the exact same thing over again. This color looks so good. And then shake up the colors that you have. Every color has a different measurement. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake, shake, shake. Okay, now I'm going to take my Rainbow Loom rubber bands. And of course you need gloves. Look how messy my hands are. It could get on my bracelets. So wear gloves, roll it up, and just have a rubber band there to secure it in place. And then I just made another one. Again, I haven't seen anybody do this. So I am just trialing here, seeing if any of these bracelets look good. I'm going to put blue on this bracelet. I think that would look really good. And then add a little bit of pink because pink and blue contrast well. For the other one, I am doing a classic, pretending it is a spiral and putting just a little bit of dye in the pie corners of the bracelet. Letting the yellow touch the blue so that it turns green and letting the pink touch the yellow so that it turns orange. Make sure you flip it so that you get the back side as well. Look how cute that is. It's the smallest tie-dye I have ever made. Okay, so for me it's been 24 hours. Make sure you let these sit for 24 hours. Go! Wow! Without the soda ash, these colors would wash out, so make sure you keep that soda ash. So on this one, I used a little bit of orange off camera, and I don't know if I like it too much anymore, but once you rinse it out, it does lose some color, so they do look better. And here's the final product. The two bracelets I made, of course I like the tie-dye with the rainbow more. It looks so good next to other bracelets. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to watch another video. Subscribe to NetNSE for more fun and cool arts and crafts. I'll see you later.